Hey love bugs, it's Riles and make it true one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you. As well as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the, uh you know my videos just give you an uplift or insights that you you know you may have needed please go ahead and share you never know that can impact somebody in a way they truly need it and the video i'm about to do right now is called twin flame 101 hey oka's rock bottom will teach lessons that mountaintops never will when i say I've, I, it was a post that i seen when i seen that i was like whoa that hit deep and when it hit deep, you know, it was like spiritual chills came up, you know, and there's some kind of truth that comes up when it happens. Um, it, it's just a fact is a lot of times it's a blessing. You know, I say it's a blessing for anybody who didn't have to thrive, didn't have to work hard, be consistent and persistent, determined, motivated, whatever, to get to the mountaintop and it was just handed to you. Kudos to you. <laughs> really, kudos to you. But a lot of us you know they really want something in life they're bigger in life wanting more in life you know a lot of times we had to go through those uh experiences of, of suffering like you had to go through you know um that vibration where it, you were the belly of the beast of rock bottom like you had nothing no one you done lost everything and it made you feel defeated you know and it made you get to that point and a lot of times you know uh God will guide you towards that insight to just be able to show you like even though you are where you are doesn't mean you got to stay here. Does, does it mean that this is going to be your final destination? This is only temporary for you. But you have to prove to yourself what I already know, you know, because a lot of times we, we get to that vibration of where we feel like I don't know how much more I can take. You know, if I have to take one more ill, one more mistake, one more setback. It's it. I'm done. But this and you have to understand the more we do that, it is going to show you. These are lessons you had to go by. These are experiences you had to go by. Everything that is coming into your life is leaving a mark of wisdom, leaving a mark of knowledge, of growth. You know, even when it hits you in a place where it hurts you, this is leaving something for you to create better. And a lot of times it, it, it takes something that was hardcore hurt. To create strength in some kind of way for you to be determined to say this is not it this is not where my life is going to stay I know there could be more in my life you know and this is going to be at that point because this is like I see a lot of people they have gone through the worst of the worst in their life even when they were at the at the highest it was something that knocked them down a couple of feet for you know down you know and there's some people that would accept that and just stay like that. But there are some people like, nah, you know, that was just a reset for me to create better in my life. And a lot of times we don't realize that and that, that could be the outcome of that. Maybe you had to learn, you know, to see the view different. You know, creating your best breathtaking view of what you're wanting to go into your life. Even though when you're facing diversity and adversity into your life. This shows you what parts of your weaknesses that is still having that hold on you. If you keep thinking about different things that's taking place in your life is where it's showing you where you need to take your power back from. But appreciate what that situation showed you. Appreciate what those people had showed you or whatever it is, you know, per se. Because it's just like, you know, there's some people that are blessed that not have to earn what they got. Maybe it was in the family that was passed on and they just learn from, you know, a child what to do. You know, you know, the laws of the books, you know, of this is how your life is going to be. You know, we don't have this go through family to family, you know, child to child, whatever. You know, this is destined for your descendants, whatever. But then there's just people where you, you see what you wanted in life. You know, you, you had this, you know, this insight to what came to you saying this could be your life. And you're trying to understand, you know, how would they put this in my life? There ain't no way <laughs> I can make this out of my life. And it's just like universe and God tries to tell us, I, you know, I can do so much with so little to create something huge. 
in people's lives and a lot of times we don't see that because sometimes you'll have people around you saying man you dreaming too big you know your dreams is too much good luck with that and you know and sometimes you get to that point where you've heard it so much you start believing it or you have your ego telling you that your fear is telling you that but then it comes to that point where when you got rock bottom that's you know how the seeds grow you know how do they come up you know you don't just hit them up at the top they had to be deep rooted and that's what they're telling you you know it, it, it's just like rock bottom teaches you a lot of lessons where you know where you uh, you know determine that because it, it's just like what I'm saying this it made me think about you know it was this one guy I think he was from Hawaii I can't remember that guy's name but I know he was like strung out on on different you know hardcore addictions or whatever and I mean when you see him today and then he shows you his mug shot it don't even look like the same person you know, and he was just like, I was down in the dumps. You know, I robbed people that really cared about me. I stole, you know, I was doing things that I'm shameful of. But this is what, when I went to prison for this amount of time, you know, it showed me I could be a better person. You know, I was even watching this one show, uh, I mean, this one channel, where I guess, the, you know, whoever owns the channel, they were showing about different things about, you know, uh, gang members and stuff like that who lost their life. And these are certain crimes that happened. And this one guy... He was in jail and he was young, like really young. He was like 13 and he was going down that bad path. But now from him going to jail for like 20 some years, you know, um, he he was like prison reform. He started a new uh, campaign or whatever you want to call it, uh, where he helped other kids get out of that situation, whether they were gang members or, you know, they were, you know, selling, you know, stuff on the streets, you know, gang banging, whatever. And he helped that. And a lot of times, and I know when I seen that, I was like, Dad, that hit deep. Because he created better for his life, and he had to go through that point, you know, because he was like, he was 12, and had already got nine convictions. And I was like, God, dog, you started off early, didn't you? You know, and it was just like, wow. And then he was, you know, and they said when he got out of prison, you know, even for the person he was with, they, they I guess they killed somebody. The family was forgiving of him, and they helped him do this you know this situation where they were helping other people get out of it and I mean when I say I was tear jerking like dad you know you when you see certain things like that in life that really hits you don't realize the most detrimental thing that impacts your life like that it can create create something very beautiful very powerful that you don't know that may encourage other people like your life don't have to stay that way you know if you allowing yourself to accept defeat you know you letting the enemy win you letting the devil win you trying to sit up here and say this is how your life is going to stay it's like you may, you must not have confidence in your life you know within yourself that you can create better for you because of what you what your your situation is right now and it's just like when i when i go through my different changes I, you know i have to be able to tell myself you know if god wouldn't believe i would be able to do this he wouldn't put me in a situation he put me in to go to that next level he wouldn't give me the insights that i have to go to that next level he wouldn't allow me to be in a platform of what i am now to be transparent about the things that i've gone through the things that i see you know that brought me peace even though you know it broke my heart but it you know it, it got me on a different level of strength you know he sees the potential in me he wants me to be able to create to see the potential in myself you know and that's what we have to be able to you know change ourselves you know a lot of times we move from day to day on how people have hurt us or what we're constantly struggling in. God knows that. Universe knows that. They see everything that goes on in our lives before we even do it. They already know what moves that are being made, whether it's the enemy that's doing it to you or is you doing it to you. You know, these are the things. It's like regardless on what they say or what the devil say is what, what did I tell you, you know. You can create something so much better into your life. And this is where it shows you where your life is like you were that seed that was placed in the darkness. You know, you had to be nurtured. You had to get water. You know, you had to be able and be in that rich soil that you are. And a lot of times with certain situations, hell, we the one kind of seeds that, that you know, we, we were formed up under the concrete. Where it looks like nothing good can come from a situation when you've been in the worst. And it's just like if they, you know, you get an opportunity of seeing somebody's life and they were at very rock bottom. Like I was talking about that guy. And he's a mentor. He goes all over Hawaii. And I think he um, comes to the United States every once in a while. He tells people about what he went through. You know, how bad he was strung out on drugs and stuff like that. And how he turned his life around. A lot of times it takes you to have to go to rock bottom. You know, it takes you to have to lose everything that you had, you know, 
to be able to get there. You know, you see a lot of times where what they call people one hit wonders, you know, the ones that just felt like, oh, I can't never come down from the mountaintops and stuff like that. And it just takes that one wrong move and it just, you know, everything collapses to you because maybe you weren't humble. You didn't appreciate different things, you know, and it's not to, you know, project anybody's stuff that goes on like that. But a lot of times that is because I heard different people to say, you know, hey, I was an NBA star and, you know, I went through this and, you know, I had money, cars, girls, this and this and that. And it, it just took me at one time where I felt like I was invincible, you know. It wasn't nothing that could bring me down. It was nothing that can take place in my life that can get me back to where I was. And, you know, they were just thinking that they couldn't be touched. And that was their mistake. God was like, you ain't appreciate it. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take it all back. They, were like, they always say, be humble. You know, because God, when God giveth, he can take it away. And, you know, and that's what they try to show you. But different things is like this within your life. It, if it can even start off detrimental, don't mean it got to finish that way. You know, that was just your stop. That that was where your, your growth was going to take place at from the different things that you have gone through. Maybe you don't have a job right now. Maybe you, you're struggling financially. You know, your fa your family is just all in a disarray. You know, um, you are within yourself. You don't know who you are at a vibe. Like, you really, you can have, you know, you can be jumping for joy the next one day. And it can just take that one different thing that went up against you and have you right back down where you were. And these are the things that challenges you, you know, and it is just like a lot of times we don't we get upset when God keep bringing these challenges to our lives. Like, damn, I ain't going through enough and you got to keep adding it. It's like this is where it betters you at. You know, a lot of times I got to even respond, my, you know, even not respond, but remind myself when I go through that. It's like, look how far you have come. Look at all the things you have faced. Look at the things you have overcome. You know, look for the truth that you had that hurt you deep. To make you feel like th there was some kind of love that you gave to yourself when everything else was just going in the opposite direction. You, this is what this is what this creates that madness of change where you are determined to say my life don't just because it begin like that don't make um, don't think I'm gonna stay here and let it end this way. I got a life. I got experiences that I need to be met. There's a lot of peaks that I'm ready to reach. You know, and these are the things that create that that vibration of where you're unstoppable. Regardless of what goes on into your life, because that's where the trivial stuff start coming in at. You going through different things, you know, stuff is snatched from you left and right, left and right, and you still trying to be, you know, appreciative. And it's like it's hard to be that way when you got so much stuff going on in your life, and it's hard for you to be able to see the good out of the the bad that you face on a day to day basis, you know. And a lot of times it's like it's hard for me to be grateful. And say, God, I'm grateful for what you believe, you know, you got me in, you know, it, it's just like I, I'm financially struggling. I'm always by myself. You know, I'm giving love to people that don't give it to me, you know, going through different things like that. But it's like telling you, you don't woke up today. And it's like, you know, sometimes we mean, if I'm like, hell, I didn't ask you to do that. You know, I'd been better if I didn't with all the stuff that I got going through. But this is just like, no, nah, you, you, you missing the things that I'm trying to show you, man. You know, a woman, you know, these are the things I'm trying to show you within your life. Be grateful. You know, a lot of times people, they say, they say a lot of people will be grateful for the stress that you got going on in their life. Because there's it's just like, there's some people probably struggling just to breathe. And just to be able, I wish I can just breathe without an oxygen mask. I wish I can just go up a flight of stairs without that, you know, defeating me, being tired. Because I'm still determined to do that. You know, I, I remember there was this one girl, I forgot how, I don't know if she got into, it's like she got attacked or something like that. But, you know, her leg was amputated. I don't know if it was like a, a car crash or something. But it was real sad that she went through. And it was something where... Even when she got out the hospital, she was going up and down them stairs. They were asking her, you know, hey, you know, um, you know, you need help. And she's like, nah, I got this. You know, she was her own physical therapist. You know, she went to physical therapy and then she went through that. But it was sad because it was like, I think her boyfriend or her husband or something like that. Yeah, he passed away like a year, year or two after that. And I was just like, God, dog, I mean, she can't win for losing. She taking L's left and right. You take one of my legs, you know, I'm trying to do this. And then she ended up losing her husband, you know, or, you know, father of her child, you know, not even a year or two after that. But it was just like after she was able to, you know, do things on her own, he ended up dying. I think he had, L L uh, uh, what, what is that, LS, whatever that thing is where people were doing LES or something like that. L whatever that thing is, there was a lot of people doing them freeze water challenges and stuff like that. Uh, 
LAS, I think that's what it's called. Forgive me if I messed it up. But it was something that he, you know, went by like that. And, you know, it was just like me watching that shoot. I started getting choked up like that, you know. But it's just like a lot of times we take life for granted. You know, we complain about the little pettiest things where people are like, you know, if you only knew my situation, a lot of times God will show you better be humble. You better be grateful because you could be in a situation like this. You see what they're going through and they still got a smile on their face. They still have good things that they can say to other people. You know, they still see life as an opportunity to become better. You know, and a lot of times we take that for granted because we're so busy looking at the mistakes. We don't see the blessings in day by day. You know, I have to be able to correct myself at times, too. I go through that. You know, be grateful. You know, your life can be a lot worse. And it's just like, Roz, my life is worse. But it can get a lot worse than that. You know, they start showing you about different things. You know, you can come across where it's just like, damn. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You know, you, you end up showing that. But they're showing you how you can create so much into your life and make things better. And a lot of times it takes you to be at that the belly of the beast at rock bottom to be able to create that. Because when you know if God and universe play, place a vision on how your life could be, and it, you, you know, and a lot of times God will just make a, you know, will give you a vision on your life. You be a CEO of an empire. You could have your own company to where it's multi million dollars and stuff like that. And you're like, man, look, I'm just I'm trying to find my way out of you know the box that I'm sitting up here sleeping in in the middle of the night on you know on the side of the street. And you trying to tell me this can happen in my life yeah right you know but it's just like okay you, you don't believe in this but have you even tried you know it's like well where would I get this at God is like I, I'm not worried about that you let me worry about that but I put this I put that inside in your mind for a reason I can create anything if I can part the Red Sea I can do some stuff for you you never imagined it can come into your life and I'm using you as an instrument to show people that things can change I'm using you as that instrument where if things can feel impossible I made it possible between you because there's a lot of things that we face in life that we feel like we can't recover from there's a lot of things that we have gone in our life that we feel like if it's stolen from us we can't gain something in a perspective that was better than that and a lot of things you know when it comes to you know family and stuff like that but I've seen a lot of different things like you know uh, like somebody's child you know passing away at an early age you probably don't heard me say that but it's just like a lot of times when we go through that vibration universe will will instore certain visions or certain views they need you to have a deeper understanding about what your life can truly be what can you impact to inspire on other people as you do the same within yourself and they're showing you different things where people now lost children at a very young age you know and then next thing you know you know that their parents decide to go ahead and you know be a donor as soon as i said that they are gonna lights change that was creepy <laughs> you know it end up happening that's you know that one person that one child that you know that wasn't you know granted to see another year done impacted 12 other people in their life and that was their their that was their purpose in life you know next thing you know you can hear a person and say oh, okay you know i'm your 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 daughter your son gave me a new heart so i want you to be able to hear that and you see how the lights didn't change when i said that <laughs> it was like the, the vibes in this in this room i changed that quick but it, it's just like you don't know how a tragic situation can bring out a blessing that you never never knew you know and just thinking about those different things that happen to people and you know I get angry because I see so many different things that's going on in the world like why does it have to be that way so I was just saying in the other video where I felt like life and death is really hitting different right about now because this mess is just getting crazy all these people getting out for different things they've been doing in the dark then you hearing all these people you know these people are committed suicide it was one girl I forgot what she was in diamonds tiaras or something like that you know she ended up committing suicide and stuff like that and it's just like I, I don't even want to be on YouTube you know because there's too much stuff I'm seeing that's going there left to right you're seeing all these gangs you know people you can't even go get gas and you go into a shootout in broad daylight folks is just getting crazy you know people killing their own kids on Mother's Day and junk like that and I'm just you know I'm like where's the world coming to it needs to stop you know life is precious and people just take it for granted you got your own situations going on and you, you take other people's lives out like, you know, 
It's like no offense But if you feel that way You just do you like that But don't take these babies away You know don't do stuff like that But it's just like we, we don't have a say into that But it's you know when things affect you out in the world It's because you were meant for more you know, you have a conscience, you, you got feelings, you know, you trying to not allow yourself to constantly live through this pain that the world tends to throw at you, but just end up making a mark to create something better. You know, you know what goes on in the world when it affects you in a deeper way. You know, it does that with us because it's just like, I, you know, I had to put on, I said, let me go look at cartoons. Let me go watch a spicy challenge. You know, let me go do this because it was just like I got tired. You know, that was done for me when I was hearing about the girl in Louisiana about what her parents said. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, uh, 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 this, this is just too much. This is too much. And I was like, and God rest of, rest of soul, you know, Lacey, I think that was her name. Lacey F Fletcher, I think that was her name. But it just brought my heart to hear about that stuff. And it's just, like I said, things are hitting different. Even though we live to die, die to live, you know, circle of life. But when I say it, it just seems the stuff that I'm hearing, it, it is projecting different. The vibes is coming at, that follows behind that tragedy is different to me. You know, because we're living in an in, in apocalypse. We're living in, in uh, revelations right now. So you're seeing a lot of that. It's just a whole bunch of nonsense that, you know, it really needs to stop in the world. But it's just when you are going through things and the universe is always telling you, you know, when you go through things like this, it, it can be hard. You know, because I, I, I see a lot of the, the things that y'all tell me about what y'all go through in life, what you have faced in life. And, you know, what you're constantly going through right now. I know it's not fair. You know, a lot of things you go through where you felt like there, there can never be something good from that, but you don't realize from the things you, you which you faced and you're still here to be able to see it. It was preparing you for greatness. It was preparing you for a lot greater. You know, because you 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 were that one that was chosen for you to stop the things that has occurred down our bloodlines. When we're when it's getting touched and connect with us. We're not just, you know, healing what we got going on right now in this day and age of the right, right. We're trying to right our wrongs from this path that we got right now. But this is like all the other ones we had where we had unfinished businesses hitting us. So that's heavy on what we're dealing with ourselves. And then you, you were that one who they chose to break these curses and these cycles. And the devil don't want that. He like constant chaos in the world. He like it when we're prejudiced towards each other like that. Or we, we you know, we fall and we feel like one person out of, you know, what whatever place they're from, whatever background they got, all of them are like that. He likes it when we live in pre prejudice like that. He likes when we have hatred towards each other. He likes it when we, we when we go on all guns are blazing. He likes that. But it's just like when God pressed that reset button, he's like, nah, it's done went on too long. Y'all that got too comfortable with doing this, you know, now it's time for change. And you see it. You see it every day. And it's just like when you finally get to that mountaintop, you don't appreciate that rock bottom in a whole totally different way if you were just given that mountaintop. Because as soon as you get towards that another, that top of that mountain, there's another one that's preparing you to go up another one. And this is going to show you. When you have got there, when you have hit rock bottom and got to that mountaintop, that next mountaintop you get is going to be so beautiful to you. Because then it's, it's like you're going to start challenging your own challenge. Like you wrote the book to challenges. You become your own challenge. Like, man, look, I don't went through this, this, and this, and that. This is a small thing to a giant. This is like a little hiccup to me. All I got to do is drink a little water and let that mess go down. I'll be okay. And then you're going to show. Because it's like the things that we face, the things that we go through every day is showing you. You define what a true warrior is. Because we take things the hard way. We hit, they hit us the hard way. And you know, you strengthen through those hard times. So you're going to be grateful for everything that, you, that hit you rock bottom. That guided you powerfully. You know, <laughs> powerfully towards that mountaintop. Because that's what you earned and that's what you deserve. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all would love to give a post notification shout out to Katrina Rainwater. La La uh, Lola uh, La Bruja. And um, Jamal Jabson. 
much love to you as well if you're new to the channel welcome it's so good to have you please drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me i'll leave all my contact information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking you know just to help you have a deeper understanding of your path of purpose a lot of things y'all you know y'all share with me you try to see if it's normal i tell people we are not built to be normal we stand out for a reason <laughs> so everything we go through hey i wouldn't be surprised you know, but we, we always go through the most unusual situations. But hey, we all can learn to live and learn off of off of each other to get towards that next level. So I love to be able to connect with y'all and you know be able to help out the best way I can. Whatever we speak on is confidential, and um, I do leave my link to my podcast as well as on Spotify. Um, and if you ever feel generous enough to leave a donation, Cash App is there as well. So I hope and pray that y'all have a blessed weekend. Please be safe at everything that you do. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, I'm sending so many beautiful vibes your way to make sure a, it comes in. When it comes in, it is going to be something that's going to bring you to your knees. And it's like that flow. You ain't going to be able to stop it if you want it to. And it's going to come sooner than you predicted. So make sure you stay consistent and persistent towards what you want in your life to create better and within social distancing make sure you still give love light um and uh what is it love light and <laughs> words of frequency of love light whatever just make sure you send it towards other people to get them towards better <laughs> and it'll take you twice better just to get there i don't know where i was coming up with that but i messed up but anyways you'll see me on my next video much love peace